on here. Um, okay. You mentioned something about some issues with Facebook. You want to address that? Sure. You know, we, we've tried um, as, as a county commission to to want to bring um, as much information as we can out to the folks. And the Facebook was the, the most accurate and direct way that w we thought we could do. So we put together a Facebook page a couple weeks ago. And, um, you know, we started – people don't know what – a lot of people don't know what the county commission does. And they, they – um, so we were trying to put it out there and, and let folks know all the good things that are going on in Camden County government. And, and it, it's a shame, you know, you had a couple people from this little group. Um, they call themselves Citizens for Better Camden County. And they, they you know – decide they're going to get on there and, ju and just with some of the most vulgar language, um, you know, that, that, that you could think of. So we just decided that, you know, even though they have their own page and, and they decide that um, just just being vulgar on their own page wasn't enough for them, they decided they wanted to come over to our page while we're trying to do good things for the county and, and get get the word out there and mrs townsend and and mrs chamberlain um you know they they, they, they just say they, they say things that aren't accurate dave and it almost seems like they're not interested in the facts mrs townsend in particular and it's sad that we're trying to do some some good things for the county you know and you know they Mrs. Townsend in particular, she thinks it's just so funny uh, to send in a bunch of sunshine requests um, that legally we have to comply with, um, accusing us of a myriad of different things. And what, what I want I want the, the folks here in Camden County to understand that every time they do this, it takes hours and hours away from from the commission office, from the clerks, and whatever office, the sheriff's department, whatever office they're sunshine <laughs> things through. And all they're doing is, is kind of grinding county business to a halt. People that are in there trying to do the jobs and work for the people, they're having to put all the county's business aside and have to go find this information. we got to call attorneys. And it costs us a tremendous amount of money. And what they are, they're not someone these, – these two aren't interested in Camden County making it better. What they are are anarchists, in my opinion. You know, they've, they've supported groups like Anonymous – you know, Anonymous is, is, is a rogue group, if you want my opinion. They're lawbreakers. Um, they're known for uh, hacking government uh, computer systems. Uh, we've we, they've attempted, we believe, in the last oh, in the last month or so, um, have had our uh, county server uh, attempts to hack it. We believe that was from Anonymous. So I, I question what exactly are, are their real motives. Um, it doesn't seem like no matter what. Governments, governments do. Not all government is bad, and you've got some hardworking people here in in our Camden County government that are trying to do the right thing for the people. And you have these two little anarchists that are running around here, sending out the you know these letters to the attorney general because you, you file a complaint a complaint with the attorney general online in about two minutes, and then it takes you God knows how many hours that you know we. I can tell you um, the recent complaint they made probably took somewhere four or five hours of my time, Mr. Hasty's time, conferring with attorneys, going back and finding the information that they're, that they're requesting. And it doesn't ever amount to anything. But, you know, it, it's, it's, if you disagree, it's okay to disagree. But at least be respectful in your disagreement and stop going on other ways. If you want to be, if you want to be irresponsible on your Facebook page, Citizens for Better Camden County, then, go, then, be, then be irresponsible. But it, it's sad. It's just like we bring up this thing with um, John Danforth and, and the eulogy he gave um, for Mr. Schweik. And he talked about how words do hurt. And in, and in this matter, it actually hurt our, our state because of, um, I guess, the pressure that Mr. Uh, Schweik felt that he was under. Well, let's let's mention who um, uh, Tom Schweik is or was. Tom Schweik was the Missouri State Auditor, mm -hmm. and this gentleman was highly respected within the community, within the state, mm -hmm. for with law-abiding citizens, I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. And he uh, discovered many um, issues through his auditing process that uh, saving the state lots of money. 
Well, you know what he did. I, he, I'd say, he went even further than that. Is this this is a guy that um, this is a guy who came into office. He was educated at Yale and Harvard, and was an ambassador. He worked on the um, he worked on the Waco. Um, the, the aftermath of Waco, the compound down there. Yep. For uh, for, for, for President, um, he also was asked to work for uh, President Bush. Asked him to do some work for him. He was, I think, he was in the um, could be in the State Department. I know he was an ambassador, but he was just involved in, in a lot of things and a, and a good man. And and to have something like this happen, with, to where they are, they're bullies. They're, they're, they're absolute bullies. Um, they're cowards. They won't stand toe-to-toe with you at, at, a, um, at, at a debate. Um, and, you know, and, and Mr. Danforth had it right, and this was a, you know, kind of a quote. He said, you know, in his eulogy he gave to Tom Schweik, he said, words do hurt, words can kill, he added. He said, that has been proven right here on our home state. And Tom did a lot of good things in his in his first term as, as an auditor. He went after corruption. Um, he went after government in, inefficiency. And as I, I spoke about last week, because of the work that Tom Schweik did, um, I wanted to have our, our county audited by the state. It's probably been 10 or 15 years since a state audit has been done on our county. It's expensive. Um, but not only does... Not only do they they not only bean counters, but they also go in and they look they look at your your policies, your regulations, your rules, and they make sure you're doing it properly. And I'm all for them coming in, doing their audit, and let let the chips fall where they may. And if there's mistakes that we're making, that's fine. We'll we have the opportunity to fix them and move forward. And because because of what you we constantly read about Tom Schweik auditing different school systems and, and, the, and the waste that he found and, and other things in, in, in government, um, I was very comfortable and hopeful to have um, his people come down and do an audit for us. So, but I think it's important to remember that people um, that are in elected office, not all not all of them are crooked, like like some of these folks, like the citizens think and uh, the citizens for Better Canton County think. And it's important to to be a little more respectful, if you will, of of different opinions. It, it is. I'm going to say that on our Now You're Talking show, just to let you know what we do, we have a number of people that are um, that have firsthand information in the field, mm-hmm. whether they be retired CIA, Border Patrol, um, intelligence officers, or if they're uh, retired special ops folks. And we listen to them. You know, we want firsthand information from these folks. And every one of them has, every time they come on, and you, you do too, and Nancy Stewart, I mean, they, if you hear, see something going on in, in government, we need to call. Okay? And we see so much that is going on in, in our federal government and with our state government too, uh, Cliff. And we've had issues on local government as well. So we, we went through a training session yesterday, live on the air, on how to call your your uh, government officials. Oh, that's cool. So um, so what Cliff is saying, though, when you do make contact, you know, we went straight to the source, by the way. We, we called senators yesterday on this, uh, on the, um, oh, Eric Holder's position. Mm-hmm. You know, the lady, I think her name is Loretta Lynch. Mm-hmm. And uh, we had... There were three conservative people that voted yes on that, and we wanted to know why. And we called a couple of the guys that voted no, and we complimented them. And, uh, I mean, they, we listened to the C-SPAN audio first and aired that on the radio, and then we called. We didn't get in touch with anybody, but they understood the process. So if you don't like what's going on, it's all right to object, mm-hmm. but give a reason why, right? Is, Absolutely. And, and that, is that what you're looking for? I think so. But, you know, here's the thing, and, 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 I, and I mentioned this before, that, you know, people that are in electoral office, they've got families, they've got wives, um, they've got kids, you know, that, that are in this community or whatever community they are. And it, it's, just, it's just unfortunate that these folks think um, of, of nobody but themselves. And, you know, right now the um, – you know, the. The, the riff with, that's within the GOP is is strong, 
Um, you know, in 2010, the, the Tea Party was the hero um, for helping them get control of the House. And now that the, um, you know, they have the, the majority now, now all of a sudden we're the problem. And I think, I think there's a gross misunderstanding of what the Tea Party is. Um, it's very simply stated that most, most of those that are in the Tea Party uh, realize that our government spending is out of control. Um, and, you know, the, the, the good thing or I, what I like about the Tea Party is there is there's a bunch of different uh, interests, you know, different different belief systems. You know, there, there's there's Republicans, there's some Democrats, there's uh, independents. And what, what I'm seeing in, in, in the Republican Party um, is haven't, ha, there hasn't been any, any um, ide- conservative ideology in a long time. Um, I think I spoke last week about Rush Limbaugh, and, and he hit the nail on the head. So now if you come out against some of the more moderate or liberal Republicans on a particular bill, um, you know, and, and stand up, you're, you're, you're being hammered by your own party. And I think if you're a Christian, I think if you're a conservative and you're a Republican, um, I think there's a t- more and more a target on your back. Well, and that's what we're trying to do is we're trying to expose those situations. Um, And here again, we go straight to the source on the Now You're Talking show with the people that have lived and their careers were in the know on uh, intelligence and in special ops. And uh, they provide the absolute information. Zach Taylor down in Arizona was a Border Patrol officer in intelligence in the field. And that's where we get our information. And when you hear things that are going on and 75% of the population thinks one way and then the elected officials go completely another way, that's concerning to us. And that's not what you're experiencing in Camden County. You you have a, what's 400 divided by 40-some thousand? That's 1%, right? Uh, it's a small percentage, Dave, but they're vocal, and they think that, that, that someone, Mrs. Townsend in particular, thinks she's a lawyer, and um, you know they she keeps insisting that we're operating illegally, our planning and zoning, because we're a first class county, we operate under a third class county, and you know we we've, we've talked to our attorneys about this. Our attorneys in Jeff City, um, who's our we're our PNZ attorney, says we're operating legally, and um, she wants she wants the 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 letter from the attorney, his his investigation, his research, and um, we're not going to pay an attorney $275 an hour to research uh, something like that. If she wants to spend the money to have it researched, she can call the planning and zoning attorney, he can bill her, and he can do the research. Um, these are just kind of, like I said, all they're doing is slowing us in the commission, in the sheriff's department, in the clerk's office, in the auditor's office, uh, from from getting things done. Well, what I'm hearing from you, just what you said, you gathered, you have a, a situation, you met about it, you you're dealing with the issue. Um, the citizens lose out from a day to day Facebook page that is now uh, shut down, mm-hmm. and uh, mm-hmm. so that uh, these kind of posts cannot be posted. So, um, you know, so ninety. Nine percent of the citizens lose out. One percent of the the population, and there might be more, and that's fine if it is. But you have to be able to operate your your government, your county. So, with that said, um, you know, and the other thing I'm hearing from you is that you created a plan to deal with the problem. You know, you know when it when it chokes the system, you had to create a plan. Now these people know what the plan is. You'll probably develop a new angle. But, we, have, uh, we, have, we have some things that we're working on where it'll be direct communication with our constituents, and, and we'll have, we actually work. Um, we're, we're close to having an app um, already already um, finished. And you know, like I said, it's just it's sad that you know we're trying to do something so good for the folks out here and letting them know the good job that our road and bridge department is doing. Let them know why we hired an HR person for the a professional for the first time in in the county, and we're putting all this good information out there. And then you get a couple of hoodlums that want to go on there and just be I mean absolutely vulgar. And you know, I hope people let Mrs. Townsend know what she's doing is, is counterproductive. To our to our county. If you care about the county like you say you do, then stop bashing it. 
And believe it or not, they actually they actually have plans to. Um, they want they, they these two of all want to have a citizens group watchdog committee over over the courthouse. And I would simply say, who's going to be the watchdog over those two? Interesting. Well, I mean, the citizens are. You know, I mean. And unfortunately, many of us were so busy with our day-to-day activities that it's very difficult to um, to stay on top of what's going on in the uh, uh, and so a lot of this stuff gets pressed through, and you don't know it. And uh, so, um, so it does take the time, but it's good that you have a radio show that you can communicate what's going on. And um, and hopefully people are listening to you. You know, Dave, you, you are a godsend to conservatism, and you're a godsend to this area. There, there's there's an active movement, like I said, to to silence. Um, you know, you that you have you have a, a kook, if you will, who who. Um, just he, he's like a hand grenade with a bad haircut. You know, he's just he's just a little man ready to explode. And you know, we were on KRMS last last month, and you know, he has to send a letter to KRMS saying I talk too much, and you know that I talked, I, I I promoted my radio show on on KRMS, and you know we'll be on KRMS. Um, no, we'll actually, we'll be on you this month, we'll be on Caramus next month. And, you know, this is just two stations working together. But, this, you know, you got these hoodlums that have nothing better to do than, than interrupt uh, county business. So, Well, you know, I mean, it's a, I mean, you're, you, you work for the county, but you also are an individual, right? And we deal with people, um, I'm going to use um, Matt Thomas as an example, who is a, He's in the sheriff's department in in Arizona. Okay. And he can't speak for the sheriff's department, but he can speak for himself. And then he gives us the insight of what's going on. And um, but you're an individual with your thoughts, and you're letting people get 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 to know Cliff Luber and what you stand for and where your backbone is. And uh, and if these people want to object, I guess they have the full right to do that if they want to. But. You know, I mean, you're gonna you're gonna address it. You're not gonna shy away from it. So. You know, I, I try to do what is right. My wife and I are very active in, in, in this community. Um, you know, we we do the Big Brother Big Sister program, and and we do the um, you know last last Saturday we spent the entire day um, at the high school. Uh, the the kids look the kid the Camden Youth Wrestling Clubs tournament was there, and it's a really big deal. And my wife and I work that every year, and then we spend a, a whole day working a, a, a scoring table. And you know, a couple weeks ago we we, we did the, a scoring table for the high school all day there. So we're pretty active, and and the, and the folks that know us know um you know the folks that um see us day to day they know who we are you know i tell you one of the night i had a rough week and you know i was laying there on the couch the other night and vicky came in and she just put her head down on my chest she said you know what cliff she said i know you're a good man you know what and i know i got a good woman and you know mrs town and mrs townsend of all strangely enough is somebody that i stood up for because um, I did, I do think she was harassed by the county. I do think um, when when Kim Cross, too, who's another one, comes into um, you know his his group coalition for for whatever, um, comes in there and wants to spend county time bashing Mrs. Townsend before she's getting ready to address the commission. She made a, she made an appointment. She came in to speak to the commission. You got this tyrant come in here and thinks he can talk to people, send letters around. You know, he attacked my wife, and, and you know, he's, he's attacked. It's just their MO. They're not nice people. They don't care about this area, in my view. The only thing they care about is their own left-wing agenda, and they're leftists. They're not, they, they may sit at a Republican table at a Lincoln Day's dinner, but in my view, they're, they're, they're leftists. Well. Well, Cliff, we've run out of time here, man. You have a closing comment before we call it a day? I want to wish everybody a a nice weekend. It's going to be beautiful. Get out and enjoy it. And, um, you know, there are are good things happening in our our government here, Dave, and I'm so excited to be a part of it. And I appreciate the support of the folks um, in this area. i got a lot of support, and it's comforting when you see, you know, we had had somebody stop in um, uh, actually this week and said, you know what, he said, I've lived here a long time, he said, and I heard something about 10.30 at night. He said, and at first I, I, said, I thought it was a helicopter. 
he said, and I went outside. He said, it was a road grader plowing my road. <laughs> and he said, man, he said, I got up the next morning, and the roads were great. The schools, you know, we, I think we got like five, seven inches, and, you know, the, we were able to, the school was able to go as planned. And, and the, our road and bridge guys did a terrific job. And, you know, the, the trucks were out early. They were pre, pre-salting, and then, then they were plowing. You know, when we got about three inches on the snow, the grader started about six in the evening. It worked all night till six in the morning. And, and these are the good things we were putting on Facebook, Dave. And, and, and that's, that's been taken away from us because you have an intolerant hoodlum that just, you know, can't stand to see anything positive happen in the county. If you don't like living here, leave. That's what uh, the prime minister say, said down there in Australia here recently, that which we admire about some of those folks uh, from the Middle East. Well, Cliff Luber, way to be, way to stand up, way to, way to fight if you're right to fight. Uh, we appreciate your, you coming in every Friday at 8.50 uh, for the Cliff Luber Show and update, updating the uh, citizens of Kansas County and also providing leadership throughout the world because we have, I want to let you know, okay, now you're talking to airs three times in 24 hours. Mm-hmm. We're knocking on the door of 2 million people. Wow. That's awesome, Dave. It's amazing. That's awesome. It is it is just amazing. So you know, it's conservatives like you. You know, Rush Limbaugh back I guess in the '80s when he started. You know, he was someone that, in in my view, between between Rush Limbaugh and Ronald Reagan, helped put the Republicans and the conservatives back in the game. And now we have somebody like you, and what you what you have here is doing the same thing. Well, there's many people behind the scenes um, that supports and coaches me on a daily basis, and. And a couple of them are uh, Reagan alumni. One was in charge that, that provided uh, uh, suggestions to President Reagan in the education department. And then Don Shelton was the, what I call the bulldog of yep. uh, the Reagan administration. Absolutely. So we're very short, very fortunate to have those uh, influences, uh, plus the special ops, the retired CIA, and the retired Border Patrol officers. They are amazing people, and you are too. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Cliff Luber Show here on LakeofTheOzarksRadio.com. Next up, Jason is in the studio.